Alright, hi guys. Uh, this is going to be a really quick tutorial on uh, installing this mod. Uh, first of all, I've already unpacked the mod here. This is the folder, this is these are the files you get with the mod. Uh, basically, just navigate to your installation. Minus uh, drive D, click on files, Steam. Where's Steam apps? Steam apps. Common. Uh, I have three installations here. One is for testing with lit cubes. Uh, one is vanilla, and this is my Star Wars one. I'm gonna be messing around with the Star Wars one right now. I've deleted everything in it. I mean the mod files. So as you can see, it's the vanilla, vanilla cat and dad files. Uh, so this tutorial is basically just about how to copy over and paste what you need. So what I'm gonna do. These files you don't need. You just need what's inside this uh, X3Terran conflict folder. Select those. I think they're about 5 gigs in size, maybe a little bit more. Open up, open up your Terran conflicts. In my case, it'll be this one. And just drag over and drop. Just make sure you don't drop it into one of these folders. Like, drop somewhere between the files here. Yeah. So anyway, copy over everything. 5.49 2 minutes Well, I guess I'm going to stop the video here and just cut it. So it's still copying. Then when it's almost done, this little screen pops up to overwrite some files. The 04 cat that's in the add-ons folder, it's actually the vanilla 04 cat. Uh, it's just the updated 04 cat to 3.1, so I've included it just in case you guys don't have the to 3.1 if you have uh, 3.0. So this should solve any problems there. Uh, so, 93 items that need to be overwritten. Take it. Copy and replace. Hopefully this will go quick. And guys, note that uh, these folds here do not dump them into this add-ons folder in your X3 term conflict. <laughs> okay, so it's copied over. Let's see what we have now. Add-ons. We used to have this going up to 4. Now it goes all the way up to 13. Some scripts I've copied over. Some at the bottom here. Yeah. The X-Wing. Bound script. Uh, some load screens and there's also a movie I copied over this 810. And here we had soundtracks, copy over. The intro also from movies here and uh, the avatars, icons, and stuff. Uh, Alright, so let's test it out. Mm, I just made a bunch of shortcuts, it doesn't matter. Just have it like that. By the way, I'm running this off a little Asus laptop. So, might take a while to load a few things. So let's see. Menu should load quick. I've optimized it pretty well. All right, as you can see, guys, this is the the mods menu background. If you see these ships, the Star Destroyer, the Super Star Destroyer, and you hear the Star Wars music, and uh, also note that. It's going to be a bunch of TIE fighters flying by now. You should go oh, yeah. on the shuttle. <laughs> so if you hear these sounds, engine sounds, music and all that stuff, that means uh, you've correctly copied all everything you needed. Okay, some of you have been complaining about the Argon starts that uh, it crashes. Uh, or when you head into Argon territory it crashes for some reason. So we will 
start when these are going to start and test that. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so we're Argon. in. Flight no score. crash. Let's see if the plot starts. This is Commander Derek, there we go. all members of the Argon Special Task Force 87. I'm transmitting coordinates to your navigational computers. Form up at this location for briefing and assignment. Okay, so a couple of things we've got to test. Eh? There are scripts, go into control, interface. We've got two main scripts here. Uh, bounce script, which prevents your ships from crashing into other ships. To set uh, activation key for it, I'll make a J. Apply. And S foils, I will make H. Apply. Okay. So, uh, bounce script, let's act activate that. J. You can see at the bottom it says bounce has been enabled. And now let's test S foils. So we've got wings open, weapons in full. Oh, by the way, R2. Um, I'll fix this camera view. You can't really see him, but uh, anyway, I'll fix it. It'll work. He can provide missile defense, and he repairs your ship. So back to checking if S foils work using the hotkey. Argon, flight there you go. You can see wings closed. Closed. Weapons don't work, but. You're a lot faster now. So anyway, you guys were also saying that um, what was it? When you use S foils, some equipment disappears, and or missiles disappear that you have on board. I have a save with the next wing that has a few missiles on board, so we're going to test that now. So let me exit quick and test. So here's my X wing. Let's see what we got in cargo. Got a wildfire missile. And a spectre missile and a mosquito. Well, let's see what happens when I use these foils. Attention, energy low. Oh yeah, by the way, if you use these foils next to a large station or something, which you just exited, uh, it kind of launches you <laughs> a couple of kilometers away. I don't know how to fix the problem. I don't think it's fixable. So try not to use S foils near anything big, like gates or huge stations or anything like that, or a huge ship. So anyway, still got the wildfire, still got the spectre and the mosquito. So seems it's all right. Ooh, running out of memory. Have to switch off wipes. Right. 